Wishing everyone a happy eat in advance. Ah, okay. Nene nyoko dolan don de fon nene ko dau di ko de fati nak at bini mane na wish nakin yep a happy eat in advance. So my recipe today is paella. So paella, it's called it is a Spanish um very popular Spanish rice and seafood dish. But we tend to cook it, and most of them, mostly the Senegalese, recreated it into Senegalese paella. So I'll be doing a Senegalese-inspired paella with my fam as well. Did they make one and some other get knock? Ah, don't they? No, what's the some other get? No, so I was a what? Opana. So we got our seafood. This is a seafood fiesta. It's Eid. You want to cook something special for your family? Just try this paella, and I'm sure you would love it. And I'm going to show you my fam with it and how I will cook my paella. Aicha, see you in the kitchen. Ninko de fe sasune. Right, guys. So you can see these are our ingredients. I've got my big Argentinian lobster here. It was a live lobster, guys, and I'll show you the footage of when I just bought it. It's so creepy, but I'll show you how we're gonna wash it. These are my mussels, and that's um, just raw prawns, normal peeled prawns. I've got my clams here, calamari, and this is my squid. Ah, you them not some squid game? You know we're gonna ham. Lead up my little squid game. Wow, wow, we're gonna know. <laughs> That's our prawns. You can see how big these tiger prawns are. We soon um, crave it. I'm soon um, ganar we pull it. You I'm soon um, all our seafood. I'll be listing it on the screen as well. But first of all, I'll just explain what I have blended. I've just blended my thyme, parsley, and rosemary and sage. Okay, we are going to add parsley, rosemary. But for the assage, sage, you don't want me to be see. I come already, so I'm going to assage. I'm going to have oregano. If you don't have sage, you can use oregano, which is just normal any green seasoning, because we need these green herbs in order to infuse the seasoning into the seafood and give this paella a very good taste. This is my um poireau, my soon um leeks, British leeks. So this is the British leeks, and I've got my scallions, which is my green. Onion vert, moisture, spring onions. So these two I've blended. The two greens is here: leeks and spring onions. Moisture, onion vert, poivre. Fine, you am fine. Some thyme, persil, and rosemary, which is our thyme, persil, rosemary, and garlic, and oil. We oil. So like we feel like. See, we've got our chicken here, chicken legs, moisture, poulet. That's our nakos. You can blend garlic and spice of your choice, or anything you want to season your chicken with, which is our garlic, ginger, and other spices. You can have a look at my nakos fam. We use my nakos fam. Nakos fam, everybody. Right. So you can see I've actually stuffed it already. Look at the chicken. How beautiful it looks. I'll give you a better zoom. So look at how beautiful this chicken looks. We can just add all this seasoning here, and I'll sprinkle some smoked paprika. This is smoked paprika, paprika fumé. So for the fact, give it that smoky taste. Right, this here, smoked paprika is really nice. Give it a try. There you go. Alright, guys. So this is what's the first thing I like, which is our cravat. They're so big and nice, so yummy and nice. So I'm gonna be. I just added four because I think it was gonna be too much. I'm just adding a little bit of sport salt. Sprinkle some salt on it. Himalayan pink salt. We soon sell. Take it for wow. We buy a gun. No, no, we take it. Bismillah, so look what we're going to start with adding our oil onto the pan. I've actually got this lovely pan 
from the Asian shop. So you can use your normal pot, but this is a nice, um, it sort of looks like a paella pan. So I'm gonna be using it to cook the paella. So first of all, we'll fry our stuff. We're frying everything. This is to make sure we season this, the oil first, and it just gives it a beautiful taste. We so dueling we so you say you call it like this soft swing but as in way fry. The ham then the fast of the dueling bigger ham the gui dueling but if you know there we say mom yeah just sprinkle some salt roast some salt in your oil this is just to season it if you have a have a garlic piece of garlic you can just roast it as well just gives it a lovely taste you don't really need to take the cover out you can just rinse it and wow there was a mommy like Ben and Lach Sand is some problem. You know my gina ham. Alright guys, so first off we're going to fry our lobster. Right, so we're gonna fry the lobster first. We need to ensure we just have a nice colour. So we fried the lobster, you can see it's nicely coloured. Ah, something to you now with them back. Just added some salt to our calamari and we fry it. Okay. Hey, yeah, it's not me. If I get some oil, we're going to have this. We're going to have some paella. Oil, this is for family. It's not going to be enough for family. We're going to have some oil. We're going to have some oil. We're going to have some oil. So, this is our squeeze. Need of mine the little squid game. Right, so you can see that this is all fried as well. I'll just remove it. Right, so now I'm gonna fry our prawns. So crevetti. Don't like frying. Start for pepper. Right, so we're gonna fry the chicken now. Chicken drumstick with some ginari. Fry it into whipped fruit and milk with some seafood. So now we're going to fry our chicken. Right, so you can see that we've got the desired color we have once. I'm gonna just take it out and put it on my plate. Look at the beauty of everything I've fried. Can you see? What I normally do is I sieve it. Now I'm gonna say that if you need to make it, I have the julienne. The julienne we make for that other three years. No one to diffuse the julienne. Right, guys. So you can see that this is a different part of my um of another part more so we're going to get like in me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of butter. You see it? Butter like it. Now you go buy it. You go make for use. You see it? Nyari kudu butter back. Flat of it. That's a tablespoon of ginger. This is shinjambo. Light gawala dash. A tablespoon of ginger and garlic. I'm gonna be roasting that aside first. Yeah. So, while you didn't let you get in the sun, but as you can see, you're not going to add more food. You didn't put your hair. Not my man, no, my dad, that's not going to be a bag of food. Right, so you can see that we have started roasting this. Well, okay, you're done again, let's see what you know. The onions, I've added three onions here. We soon onion. Burush, we add bouet, we let the onion, the onion, and paro. We soon jabba jambo, the onion is sauce, spring onion, and leeks. Leeks, my paro, paro. Wow, mom got the paro, we add the onion is sauce, we mom got one. You see it? Now let's see, now that we eat, now we eat. Right, so I just this one. We're sautéing this with the onion and everything. Just give it a nice sauté with the garlic and ginger. This is my green seasoning. I'll show you on the screen what I've blended. Like I showed you before, the thyme, green seasoning, thyme, rosemary, and garlic. We soon rosemarine, thé, and ale. A parsley, parsley, which is parsley. So like I've written there, this was in my green seasoning and I'm just mixing everything together. I want to make a really nice broth. This is the broth I'm going to use for our paella. 
so it has to be absolutely tasteful and flavorsome so we're gonna be adding all these flavors to it guys I'm starting to get getting I'm getting excited now fire seasoning so This is some paella, powder paella, we more powder, paella powder. So for amu ne kule da fanesi sorry for nga ampare. So for amu te, such season no cost be muni sam. Add it to it. That's the premium oyster sauce, muni sun oyster sauce. Wah, be na muni sun sauce or eater. Chili bo amrek, seafood sauce. You can just add it to it. Be the oyster sauce or the if you got um, soy sauce as well. Right, guys. So you can see, I'm gonna add our saffron. This is the food coloring. The coloring we add to the paella. We saffron. Saffron. We don't want to say we don't have the more again. The tanga no. We don't want to cook your people. Right. So I'm adding hot water to this. Is it? So you don't want to you definitely need this afro. But you know, it's already started changing color. So I'll just add enough water. So going back to our saute, you can see that it's got this lovely consistency now. We don't need to leave it too long. We just wanted to saute it to just give it a very nice flavor. By the way, I'll add the peel crumbs to it. And I'm gonna add the water as well. This is it. So you don't need saffron. So the fake crevet, you can handle it. You can hold it. We soon see what's going on. Hold it. Let down. Let's begin. Let's be young. Let's be young and you'll be. So this is the water for the saffron. Is what we're going to add to this. Okay. Is it? We mum not feeling for buy like mum we buy a bop ham like mum like me. She definitely soon lobster. Soon papa feed. We come to talk about jamma dala jamma papa wow. Papa then go just respect na. They get go for me like. Soon calamari. That's our calamari. Yep, technique like. Seafood so go talk about yep. It's just to do with technique. Yep, the new deal not just coffee. Mom, not number. So everything is here. Right, I don't like to use with food like this, especially the seafood. I like to use this Maggi seasoning because it's really nice and this is what it's meant for. So I'm using using this Maggi seasoning, isn't it? That because it has mixed stuff in a lot of the butter. See, I fruit the man with so um. Okay, so we're going to put it in the bag. Moss. This is the one that I'm going to put it in the bag. I'm going to put it in the bag. I'm going to put it in So I'll add three bay leaves for my flavor purpose. And added it to my green seasoning so it's up to you how chill and um, hot you want it but you can do whatever you want and burn it up <laughs> what we have here is one onion it's just half a red onion and half a white onion we saw on your whoosh up on your black this again put in your dad burn on your right now soft love you roll in your body not this again they fit it and just in your body Kau dah pernah pilih yang nyonyo dos tu jenis mana? Ah, nyonyo tu jenis tu nyonyo. So that's my green seasoning. The green seasoning I blended, any decent green seasoning really. So you add it here. So I decided to make sure that I'll cook the broth on the side and then cook the rice here so that when you once you finish you can add the broth because that's what you need to make it so flavorsome right caramelize this and get all that flavors flavor 
caramelized onions and this green seasoning what before we add our rice tomato at this point can you see you add the tomato now with spoon pop Right guys, so you can see that I'm going to be adding our rice. This time around is quite different. So I'm going to be adding our rice. This is Soon this will be like, definitely. We mal of it. Right guys, so you can see I'm just adding the broth from the seafood I was boiling on the side so you can see just reduce the temperature of your reduce the stove at this point for medium heat this is in order to cook the rice nice Some chicken, add the chicken on top of it. This is to soften it and moist it and give it all that juice. So, this is our prawns as well. I'll be adding it. The big prawns I used, the ones with the cover, I didn't add it to that broth. I only used the peeled prawns for that broth. Can you see? Look at how beautiful this looks. It looks so gorgeous, guys. Okay, so you can see. Let's cover it. So, aluminium is gonna ensure it's cooked. Well, I'm gonna be checking on our rice now. You see it, Mac? So in my love, it's on Look how gorgeous this looks. So I'm going to be removing the chicken now. You see it? You get it? I'm getting it soon. Gonna. So right guys, can you see, we've actually mixed it up. If at this point you know that the rice is not, you can just add more broth. That's why the broth water needs to be enough to cook the amount of rice you're cooking. So now you can see that the water is not enough to cook the amount of rice you're cooking. So now you can see that the water is not enough to cook the amount of rice you're cooking. So now you can see that the water is not enough to cook the amount of rice you're cooking. So now you can see that the water is not enough to cook the amount of rice you're cooking. So now you can see that the and prawns and the so can you see yeah so you can start seeing everything in the rice and I'm gonna add our clams as well you see it? so this is our clams
хорошо. You can see I've covered it the final time and this is just to ensure that the rice cooks and softens the way we want it and it's good to go. Look at how beautiful this looks. It doesn't matter if you have this pan, you can use your normal pan. Right, so everything is done. Look at how beautiful our paella looks. Ah, okay, hold on, let's see. Here to paella. That's our green peas, muy poti pois. So when you're here, you're going to have to eat it, you're going to have to eat yeah, we're gonna have paella. Beautiful. Look at how gorgeous this looks. I'll give you a look in a few seconds. I just add them there. How many are you going to see? You can go now. You can go see. I'm a zoomer. How gorgeous our paella looks. I'm just gonna add this lemon, normally garnished with lemon. Because it's seafood, you would want to eat it with some lemon. You just just like soon the mugi doctor does be like a fatal. You malo ko hey yo Japan ne sa palat na take the decorate. Here, I'll first take this lemon, mussels, lemon. Right. So look at how gorgeous this rice looks. I'll just put a decent amount. Look at the clams as well. Ah, so here the clam. Oh, oh, oh. Eat it, and I got time to eat it. Take prawns. Well, okay. So this is my, this is the broth that was left um, from the um, broth I used to add to the paella. We soon you look better, catching the hindu look be more. So let's give it a try. Mmm. Here it does work again. Like if I need a little bit of oil, then it's a little bit harder. But that time film there, I was a little bit more than doing that. You can get caught in your body. You can defend the phone. You can down the foot. You can see the sun to yalla. Ah, you can judge. 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 You